Castro died Friday night at the age of 90. His brother Raul made the announcement on Cuban TV. Minutes later, Cuban Americans reacted with celebrations in the streets of Little Havana in Miami. Cuban exiles and younger Cuban Americans have big plans to mark the death of Fidel Castro. News Channel 8's Gene Ramirez has been in Little Havana since the news broke. So good morning, Gene. It has been a busy weekend in Miami, and you have been bringing us incredible coverage. I appreciate that. Yeah, lots happening here in Miami, specifically in the Little Havana neighborhood. And the next thing that's happening is Wednesday, a big march and rally planned for the location where I'm at right now. It's the Bay of Pigs Memorial. We can give you a closer look of it here. This memorial is to honor those who were killed in a failed U.S.-backed invasion of Cuba back in 1961. And as we pan down, you'll see that some flowers have been left here uh, in honor of those people. But the march and rally scheduled for Wednesday, Wednesday is in part meant to honor all who've died or somehow suffered as a result of Fidel Castro's regime. Different exile groups Sunday called for the event, among them supporters of the ladies in white, who you see here, they marched silently to protest the jailing of Cuban dissidents. Many of those who spent all weekend celebrating in the streets of Miami plan to answer their call. It's very important for me because I feel, even though I've been here ever since I was very little, I feel like a Cuban and I have to, to get together and be strong. To all of us is a hope. It's a sign of hope. It's the beginning of a new, uh, new beginning, new, a change in Cuba that is so necessary for the people in Cuba. Well, I spoke to those women and many others outside of the famed Versailles restaurant. That's the de facto town square of the exile community here in Miami, and it's been the center of celebration over the past few days. Uh, I just happened to be at a post-Thanksgiving gathering with the owner of that restaurant when the news of Castro's death broke. We immediately headed straight to the restaurant, and there was already a mass of people there chanting, waving Cuban and American flags. Miami police ended up closing the street in front of the restaurant all weekend. Uh, as Cubans and Cuban Americans of different generations celebrated uh, what they think is now perhaps the start of a big change uh, in Cuba. So now looking forward, which is what the Cuban community here in Miami is doing, they're thinking that Fidel Castro's death and the change here in the United States with the Trump administration about to take power could be the start of a change in Cuba, the toppling of communism in Cuba. But more immediately, officials are now wondering about the immediate effects of Fidel Castro's death. They think it could mean mass migrations as uncertainty about the political future of the island grows in Cuba. Reporting in Little Havana, Gail, back to you.